530, a special operation that aims to curb crime in troubled areas of Miami-Dade and gives residents social and economic benefits as well. It's called Walking One Stop. It's an initiative of the Miami-Dade anti-gang strategy. It targets areas with high gun and gang violence. Today's tour was timely after a weekend of violent acts in Miami Gardens. CBS 4's Peter Dench spoke with the activists, police and residents. Let's go back around here and talk to some of the people. Activists and police fan out of this apartment building. This is overwhelming for me to see police and the community working together. This walking one-stop tour is timely after a series of shootings in Miami Gardens, including incidents Saturday at this supermarket and a drive-by at a nearby car. You never know who you're speaking to. It could be somebody that actually, actually observed a crime occur, and they may be the, the link that's missing to uh, solving that crime. That's important because often witnesses are reluctant to help police. When we come out here for these type of, uh, this type of event, it's a different setting. We get to deal with the residents on a one-on-one -on -one basis. It's the officer is here specifically to lend their time to hear whatever issues they may have. While targeting areas with recent incidents of gun and gang violence, walking one stop also gives residents access to social and economic services. Wayne Rollins developed walking one stop. We have uh, the jobs buses right here on site, career source, so people can get access to the job bank, help with their resumes. If they need uh, daycare services, they got free daycare, Head Start. We can link them to the services they may need. Sometimes it's mental health, sometimes it's health care, sometimes it's just getting the kids to be in a program so that they're not um, doing bad things in the community. And residents like Lorna Moses hope there will be long-lasting results. This is amazing, but is it for real? I hope this is not just, you know, because of a political issue coming up. There have been more than 50 tours since the program started in 2010. Aside from prompting tips, Rollins says crime generally goes down for at least six weeks after a tour stops in an area. Future visits are planned for Richmond Heights and Little Haiti. In Miami Gardens, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.